Hello, my name is Haciel Magaña, photographer and web designer, and I'm going to show you in more detail how to include an image on your web page. Uh, so first, uh, you're going to need to have your uh, files in order. So we have our HTML page and we also have our image. So how the whole process is, you have a, a such uh, set or said a file, the HTML file somewhere on the internet. So the server is gonna serve that file uh, to your browser and the browser is gonna read it and is gonna display the information that it finds on that file. So in this case, it just has some text on the right and an empty space on the left. So if you were to look at the code of said uh, file, so you have the HTML tags, head section body, and we have a, a div on the left with an empty uh, paragraph and some paragraph on the right on the div on the right, so which we do have. So if we want to include an image, so we have the uh, image tag, which is open in bracket and IMG for image, then the source, src source the equal signs and in quotation uh, where the file is located so it's located on that same uh, section of folder uh, as the html file so we just do bow.jpg and we can just close the tag with the slash and a closing bracket and if we save that file right now so then it should display the image which is right there uh, so but since every time you're working with uh, an image or uh, if you're creating a website or and or whenever you're doing anything you need to uh, have uh, will be organized with what you're doing so you always need to create an image or images folder so you have an images folder and well all the images should go there and we'll just to talk about it a little bit so if you were to misspell the uh, name of the image or in this case as I just moved in so right now the path is wrong so you're just gonna have this little empty box image square so and what that what that says the browser says uh, is telling you that there should be an image there but it was unable to find it so it was should be an image on that section but you know it's not there so if you have that on your page when you're making it it's because you either misspelled the name or well in this case said it's on a different folder which is the images folder so you do the name of the folder then the slash and then the name of the file so the source is saying where the image is located so it's located inside the images folder and the name of the file is bog.jpg so we save that and well, we have the image again so inside this tag we also need to include an alt for alternative and that's a description of the image that we are looking at so in this case is the beauty of Watsonville Clash and we close the quotation and let me just go to view and word wrap okay so we save it and the alt doesn't necessarily display anything you don't see any changes whatsoever on the image or anywhere but if you include uh, the uh, title for the image so you type title the equal sign and in quotations the title of the image so beauty of Watsonville in this case and we save it if we were to uh, get that page now and we put the uh, cursor on top of the image then we have a name whatever the title we gave to that image showing so that only shows when the cursor goes on top of the image so and if you had several images then you can you know say what the images are or where the images are from if you're showing off maybe uh your trip to hawaii or something that you did so you can use that title 
part on the image could be uh, handy. So, hope you like it.